Hello everyone and welcome back to GHK. Hope you're all ready because we have got some brilliant matches here tonight including, well isn't there like a hardcore championship match or something? With Trash Taker. Whoa. Anyway, first up though, we're going to get some talking because you know you love that with your wrestling content as exciting Constantine cuts a promo. Whoa, this will be stimulating. Well, here he is. Now, Constantine, ever since Hubert left to go with Mark Vincent, have been in absolute disarray, in my opinion. Now, we know for a fact at this point that Hubert's basically abandoned them, as he's with Mark Vincent. Mark Vincent's beaten them up repeatedly. Like, it, like it's pretty obvious at this point, as much as I hate to admit it. I think you're a dumb sack of shit. <laughs> Oh, how'd you get that idea? Well, you know, good values, I guess, you know. Family and wrestling. I mean, I'd be worried if you didn't give a shit about wrestling, but... No, no, I'm being unfair. I'm being unfair. Let's have a, let's hear you out, exciting. If it were, if, if I had someone else say this in the roster, I'd, I'd give them their dues. Younger brother Kevin and I don't. That clears a lot up. That actually clears a lot up there. And yeah, that checks out. I, I don't think I've ever seen... What? Exciting Kevin and Hugh have been travelling the road. I can very much imagine that, they, that this is all they've known. That makes a lot of sense based on how they've always been backstage. It's, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I hate that as well. I hate that Hubert, yeah, one of the top dogs of GHK, has abandoned the Constantine. The original faction of GHK, with the original high fire in Kevin Constantine. It really sucks that that's happened. So I'm, I'm with Hubert there. Look, see, I'm, I'm, I can be fair. I'm not even being. I'm not even ragging on him anymore. Like I always do. Anyway, Kevin Constantine now making his way down to the ring, the brother of Exciting. And like I said, Kevin's basically the original high flyer of GHK, at least in terms of the TV debut and whatnot. You know, before there was a cruiserweight division, he was one of the first people that we, we got to have, you know, jumping through tables and the like. I mean, yeah, you know, your adopted dad just decides up, you know, up and abandon you. Like, I could imagine that probably would fuck with you, right? <laughs> Why is he with these fucking heavy promos? I can't say anything funny about this. Oh dear, oh dear. Again, well, uh, there's not much I can say. I feel like exciting's on the money here. It's you know, like, I don't think you like. I don't know about slapping sense into you, but I think hubert has got a winning formula with Mark Vincent by his side. But I can see why exciting Kevin feel this way. More than GHK itself. Oof. Oh. You know, I'll, I'll admit, like, I've always had this thought with the Constantines. Like, I love them, but I also think they've always been a bit stupid. Oof. That hit. That hit a little hard there. Like, you always want to believe that the wrestlers, they live and die wrestling. And, of course, they all generally do. But, man, this is absolutely... This is one of the... This is one of the most important things Kevin and Exciting have ever had to deal with in their entire lives, let alone their career. They're waging war with their adoptive father.
at the end. Honestly, I'm glad that these two are at least sticking by each other's side, even if Hubert won't. Because, like, I, I do like them. I'll take the piss out of them, sure, but I do like them. So it made me sad when I realised that, you know, what was happening. It's why I was so defensive during, like, uh, Hall of Glory, Vincent Wave. I wonder what Hubert's going to say, knowing that Exciting and Kevin are not going to go down out of fight like this. But what is he going to say, knowing that Exciting and Kevin plan on coming back with a vengeance? Exciting... Oh, Exciting looks like he's actually gotten a little bit of momentum going there. Kevin, a little bit less sure, but... I think he's sticking around. I think he's going to follow sight every step of the way. Poor. Not a lot I could say, but that's just because that was one hell of a promo. Anyway, next up, we're going to have the Hardcore Championship match. Gene Baxter versus Trash Taker. A lot of unpacking that last promo, by the way. My God, I don't know what to say. Genuinely, one of the... That was a... Fucking heavy hitting promo, honestly. Like, you know, as much as Mark Vincent uh, is probably one of the best, you know, people for Huber to team up with, to know that Exciting and Kevin are not going down without a fight, they're gonna try and fight that. that like, there's a lot to unpack there. Like, I don't, like, way beyond my fucking pay grade. I'm a GHK commentator. Now, VGRW Sean was doing it, maybe he'd unpack it, but. Phew. Honestly, best of luck to them. Best of luck to Kevin and Exciting. I don't know what they're hoping to achieve out of this, you know, because I doubt Hubert's coming back. But, you know, whatever they're planning on doing, I'm best of luck to them. Honestly. Yeah, I would hate to be in that kind of situation myself. That, yeah, not, not much can be said. Anyway, now coming out of the ring is Gene Baxter. I'm probably mightily pissed off that I've been talking about anything but him, but you know, now I can get to talk about this, you know, this wonderful wrestler right here, former United Kingdom champion over at VGIW. But tell you the truth, he was you know, he was an odd fit in VGIW. In GHK, he looks he fits a lot better in my opinion. And now going for the VGIW GHK championship. You know, if he wins, he could go back to VGRW. You know, beat up Walter Rabbit, smack him around. You know, grab that, that stupid moustache, do a Cesaro swing with it. You know, he could grab the gold phoenix, rip that stupid mask off, slap him with it. It, it wouldn't matter. He could do whatever, because winning the Hardcore Championship basically makes you a free agent for the time being. And then, you know, you lose your fuck off back to where you came, you know, back to your original show. But, you know, it's, an, um, it's a major thing, and it means that Trash Taker over here has got, you know, double the pay, double, you know, he gets to showcase himself on both shows to a larger audience. It's a major, major thing. Like, it might be a lower title on the totem pole, but the opportunities it gives for those who hold it, it can't be overstated. Now you see Trash Taker, he's been holding onto that title with an iron grip. And I don't blame him. He, you know, like I said, big, big opportunity right here. But I think Gene Baxter's going to be one hell of a tough challenger for him. You know, that is going to, you know, like, as good as Trash Taker is, and Trash Taker is bloody good, a great, you know, he's been in backyard wrestling, hardcore wrestling, deathmatch wrestling. You know, he knows his way around the likes of GHK. Fact is though, Gene Baxter is one tough, strong son of a bitch, and Trash Taker's gonna really have to pull out. You know, he's really gonna have to stand strong if he wants to beat Gene Baxter here and keep a hold of that, you know, that lovely belt of his. Speaking of belts, by the way, we actually do have plans in the works regarding the TV and Cruiserweight Championships. Well, I say we, you know, Theodore Cornwall, general manager of. The, the old the old general of GHK has plans for them. So I don't know what they are, we'll have to keep you updated on them, but I'll be very curious to see what Theodore has in store for GHK. 
Hopefully you'll finally just update that fucking TV championship. It's so ugly. Oh. Anyway, here we are. Look at that. The VGRW GHK. Now, to explain why it's the VGRW GHK hardcore championship, despite a strenuous relationship with VGRW, it's because Ken Dyer nicked it. <laughs> Ken Dyer nicked it. Um... But they gave, I actually gave the title, you know, they gave, they, they had like a whole thing to crown a new half championship and it actually went to Mark Vincent. Um, and Ken beat Mark Vincent. Now that was the old Mark Vincent, the shit Mark Vincent, but he still beat Mark Vincent. And, you know, that meant that we had both championships and VGRW wasn't going to keep making a new hardcore championship every time just to lose it to Ken Dyer. So, you know, they talked to us, we came to an agreement, and basically, now it's a dual brand title. I was going to say dual show, but dual brand works. You know, GHK is technically a brand on the VGRW Champions channel. If it's on the VGRW channel, why don't I get paid as much as VGRW, Sean? Fucking hell. I think I need to put this up with the union. Surely we should be getting paid the same amounts. Anyway, match begins and trash to fucking hell! Bro kick right out the gate! That's the match over! Of course it isn't. Gene Baxter, you know, as strong as he is, Grey. Oh god. Oh, nice back and forth there. And a close on! Just a real nice trash taker for once to put his bloody mask on. Oh, thank god for that. He is an ugly fucker underneath that thing. Anyway, trash taker. Oh! Trying to go for an old Dusty Rhodes bionic elbow from the top rope to the outside. Did not work. Anyway, back in the ring now. And they're just going at it right now. I got me. Gene is not letting Trash Taker have a moment here. Oh, what's he doing now? Sitting Trash Taker up. And now bringing Trash Taker to his feet. Nice snap there, right there. Ooh, nice work by Trash Taker. Looking to come back now. And a fucking bit of a bicycle kick. I'll stop calling it the road kick now. Oh, what's he doing? What's he planning? Oh, whatever it was, not happening. Trash Taker. Come on, you two. Bigger. Oh, what a beefy close on that was. Now, Trash Taker. God, just getting. Just getting bullied right now by Gene. Look at that, the talk on the back. Your back bends like that, I'll guarantee you would tap out instantly, but Trash Taker, he's been through far worse. You know, the, the, the kinds of death matches he, he was in would make AEW blush. You know, stupid bloody... <laughs> no, no, I like AEW. No, character break, AEW's fine. I was gonna make a joke about the old, that death match that didn't go very well, you know, the one where the explosion went I'm backing out of that. I'm backing out of that before it sounds like I'm slap. Before it sounds like I'm slamming the show. Oh dear. Anyway, back in time. Oh, look at him go. He's battering him. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a Russian leg sweep. I was hoping it'd be like some big old Dan Decker clothesline. No, no, no luck there. But still, you know, it was, an, it was a rush leg sweep onto the arm, so that does give a bit more damage. Ooh, nice knee there from Trash Taker. Match has been a bit slow starter, but, you know, oh, look at that. Trash Taker, he's a little bit unsure, because Gene Baxter has been absolutely battering him. Oh, and again with that nasty tree trunk of an arm. With that big old tree wrench went boom, right on the front. Still, Trash Taker kicks out very quickly. Oh, he tried again! But now a close on from Trash Taker. And it looks like it did be quite, it was quite effective. Now Trash Taker looking under that ring. What's he gonna pull out? He's got a kendo stick! He's got a kendo stick! Oh! No! Oh my word! <laughs> Gene, I think he did get hit, I think he shrugged it off! Oh, that is. That was amazing! If he can shrug off Kendo Stick shot. Whoa! The sound! The sound of that! Gene Baxter has the potential 
to be of true great here in GHK. If he can absorb Kendo's Diplos and land shots like he's been doing in this match, maybe he isn't world championship material right now, but like, if he keeps improving, that's brilliant, honestly. And before you go, oh, he's grey, I mean, you know, he's probably too old. It doesn't matter your age in wrestling. I mean, have you seen the age of some of the wrestlers that have been successful? All that mattered, you know, the likes of DDP, for instance. You know, he was quite old when he debuted. He did bloody well for himself. It doesn't matter your age in wrestling. All that matters is your ability. And honestly, Gene, I don't know what his age is, but if he is old, as long as he keeps improving, that won't matter. Oh, God. Oh! Well, that was a bit of a... Anyway, that was snapping the leg right there. One. Oh, only a one count. Gene Baxter ain't even close to out. Oh. Last chest chop. And now an Irish whip is trash taker. Apparently his brain shut down or something. Oh, what? Oh, cannonball sent on. Oh, Gene's got this. Gene has got this. There is no doubt in my mind. This is over. Two. Fuck me. Well, Trash Taker's still in this. But I think this is about to be over now. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, a big toss right there from Trash Taker. Oh, my word. Fuck me out of nowhere. Well, you know what I mean. Like, didn't see that coming. Choke slam. One. Two. Oh, but a kick out at two. But what a way to turn the tides. Gene Bax has been dominant throughout this. But just like that. Trash Taker might have just taken this match back. Oh god, this is a fucking nasty move right here. Here we go. Oh, it's over. One, two, three. And there you go. Still your hardcore champion, Trash Taker. Lives to fight another day. It's another nice VGRW. Why the fuck don't we get the same pay get to the same level? I guess Theodore does technically own GHK and VGRW just left the top. Why does Theodore not pay? He's fucking rich! I've got a fucking message Theodore right now. Why did I not get paid as much as. as truck. Oh, he's already. I he sent the message, he must have heard me. Shut the fuck up about your pay, or you'll be out like. look like Sam was. Okay. All right, uh, I just want to state for the record, I'm very happy with my pay. Uh, please do not fire me, Theodore Cornwall. Anyway, but yeah, that was a brilliant match. Um, you know, very slow, but that's what you get sometimes when you get two big powerhouses going at it. But Trash Taker successfully defends his championship for another day, meaning that he's going to be getting ahead over to VGRW. You know, whether he'll inevitably defend the title there. It'll be interesting to see who goes and challenges him for said belt. I think Trash Taker is ready for any of them VGRW vanilla midgets. Trash Taker, you go out there and you give them hell. Anyway, we move on now, and it's a five-way match. Curtis Burton, Chosen One, Kurt Cassidy, Don Lee, and a new debuting wrestler in Twister. Now, I am interested to see how this is going to go. Five-way matches can be... You know, they are chaotic. Usually, you can have five of the worst wrestlers ever and they will still be entertaining because it's just pure anarchy. And we've got some belters in this one. We've got the Chosen One, who is a bloody great you know, powerhouse, able to fling even the heaviest wrestlers around. He could, like, when he gets going, he could be gnarly, honestly. You've got Kurt Cassidy, one of the greatest cruiserweights that we've got in our cruiserweight division. Absolutely brilliant, you know, very strong, very athletic. You know, we've got Don Lee, one of the seasoned veterans of GHK, as nasty as they come. 
has you know, scratched the eyes of Rebellion, nearly blinded Rebellion, you know, causing blood to gush everywhere. You've got Curtis Burton, who's built like a mini fridge, who recently made his thoughts very well known. You know, and I imagine he's going to really want to win this. You know, you know, just because it would be a huge statement to make. And then you got Twister, who is brand new. Don't know much about him myself, but Theodore Cornwall seemed to be very positive about him. You know, he's some, like Theodore told me he's seen him. Like, work, you know, he's, he, like he's, he said that he's seen him in a like, test match or something like that. Apparently, very, very gifted high flyer. Honestly, you know, cruiserweight division's full of high flyers, so I'll have to wait and see how Twister does. You know, seeing is believing and all. But chosen one, we've seen what he can do. Won the Intercontinental Championship at VGRW. I think he's been a former hardcore champion. He is decorated. You know, he is decorated, and I have the feeling that as much as he hasn't had that level of success recently. He's still very capable. I think he could absolutely, you know, cause some major upsets in GHK. But speaking of a man who could have some major success in GHK, I've got to think that Kurt Cassidy could very well become one of the hottest superstars in GHK. With a body like that, he has been working his damn hardest. That is the body you get when, there's, when you're practically dehydrating yourself just to look your best. Now, I don't know if it's fully natural, but let's be honest with ourselves, it is wrestling after all. But, you know, assuming it is, fuck me, the workout regimen must be bloody ridiculous. Kurt Cassidy, an amazing cruiserweight. He hasn't had a big championship win yet, but he hasn't been around here for that long. So I'm not going to hold that against him. Like, and I think he is going to be something special here. And it's going to be interesting to see how he does in this five way. I think this is going to be a real good chance for him to show himself off. So I recommend to everyone here, keep your eyes on Kurt. You know, if I've got my betting right, I'm willing to bet he is going to really show himself off here. Anyway, we move on now. And here comes... The next man of this match, and it is Curtis Burton. Now, Curtis, one of the largest men in GHK. You know, he is big, he's imposing, he's powerful, and clearly he is running out of patience. Like, based on his promo that we saw last week, he has run out of patience for GHK. I do not know what is in store here, but I have a feeling that Curtis Burton is, is going to go out of his way to make a statement, make his mark. GHK had better be ready. And again, it's someone I think you should keep your eye on. Again, he said that his promo wasn't strictly for him. It was for all the boys in the back, you know, well, you know, people of colour in the back. Who have been, you know, who he feels has been shafted, who he feels should be getting more opportunities. Honestly, I imagine he's going to be fighting not just for himself, but for them in this match. Anyway, oh, here we go. Oh, I always love seeing this man, and by that I mean I hate seeing this man because Don Lee's matches can get grisly. He is old, he is battered, he is weathered. But he knows that. He's not going to try and do something stupid. He's not, you know, there's a reason he's still wrestling at his age. And that's because he, you know, he knows exactly what his limits are. And he is able to get the very most out of his mileage. He has scratched, he has clawed, he has caused so many people to believe in matches with him. When you're in a match with Don Lee, you've got to be prepared because you're getting into a match where you will undoubtedly come out worse than you did going in. And I mean, like, genuinely, you will have scars fighting a man like Don Lee. He gets nasty and vicious. And honestly, here in GHK, we wouldn't have it any other way. Don Lee, ruthless, and you've got to imagine young bucks like Kurt Cassidy... You know, he is going to be sweating bullets. Those lovely good looks of his could get 
clawed into oblivion. He could look like a regular old Isaac Kinley by the end of the match if Don Lee has his way. Well, man, he won't have that problem, though. He's old Twister here, unless Do you know, Don Lee rips that mask off. Don Lee is going to be having a go against Twister in this one, and I imagine this is going to be very interesting. Well, I, I imagine everyone's going to have a go against Twister. Look, it's late. Anyway, Twister making his way down to the ring now. And I don't have a lot that I can say about him. Well, like I said, Theodore apparently liked his high flying, which, I mean, an old fuck liking, like an old fucking wrestler like an high flying, that's a miracle. But, I mean, he did make the cruiserweight division. You know, Twister, the smallest man in the match, I can tell you that much. It's going to be curious to see how he does in this. You know, if he's a good eye flyer, maybe that speed, maybe that that, that you know that ability, that agility, will help him out against these much larger opponents. I have to wait and see, of course, but you know, seeing is believing. Anyway, there's the chosen one. There's Don Lee, and here we go. And the match begins. Oh, Twister gets smacked by chosen one. Meanwhile, Curtis Burton seems to be laying both Kurt and Don Lee out. Oh, Don Lee. God, God. Getting battered right now by Curtis Burton. Oh, and Twister getting battered by the chosen one. And Don Lee getting mugged right here. Oh, my. Oh, bloody hell. Vicious clothesline there from the chosen one, sending Twister to the outside. Meanwhile, Kurt Cassidy, the Irish hook to Curtis Burton. Every man for himself. Oh, oh, went back to the back of the head from Don Lee. Don Lee with that clothesline right there. The chosen one, Twister, battling back. Oh, he's choking Curtis Burton. Don Lee, he is choking him out. That could have gotten nasty. Kurt dodges that clothesline right there. Oh, face first, in the knee. Oh, and Joe Warren has just knocked you know, Twister silly there. This match is getting nasty. Honestly, Twister's been getting battered. What a debut match, honestly. Oh, Don, you know, welcome to GHK. I would be too harsh on Twister, but that's what you've got to expect when you enter the realms of GHK. Meanwhile, Don really takes Kurt Cassidy down. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, Don Lee, Don Lee. Gonna give Kurt a proper welcome to GHK himself. Curtis Burton now coming in. Slamming the head of Don Lee down. And Lord Twister seems to finally be getting the upper hand on Chosen One. Kurt Cassidy! With a lovely close on. Well, Curtis Burton. Oh, trying to go in for a kick. Oh! Oh my word! That super kick nearly knocked Curtis clean out. And now that Irish whip into the corner. Oh, meanwhile. Fucking hell! The distance that Chosen One just sent Twister! My god! Said absolutely flying! Same Twister's recovered though, but man, that's gotta be terrifying having a big lug like that throw you around. That's the thing about Chosen One. He is incredible. He is one of the you know what wrestlers have a wrestlers tough to have a style. And I've noticed Chosen One, he has big strikes and massive throws. You know, he might not specialise in striking the way that the motor does or Daniel Agan, but you know, he's got some pretty nice strikes. And when he wants to throw, you know, throw people around, he is, he might be one of the great people when it comes to that. He has got some amazing slams and the like. Oh, Kurt's there. No kick out there by Twister. And this match already has done making of a great five-way. Oh, Don Lee trying to batter everyone. And Don Lee getting the fucking receipts for it. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that lovely work there. Taking around that old cunt Don Lee. Oh, breaking up the submission. Twister ain't getting out that easily. Oh, fuck me. Just like that. And Twister's down and out. Not the finisher by any means of Chosen One. Oh, and what a clothesline there from Curtis Burton. He's got a lovely clothesline on him. Now, what's Twister planning to do here? 
Oh, Twister throwing, chosen one out of the ring. And now, wait, what is Twister planning to do? Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, that's the first bit of proper good eye fly we've seen from Twister here. And that was a pretty good first impression of his eye flying ability by that, you know, looking at that. Oh, look at this. Curtis Burton's back in the ring. He's got a bat. Oh, but Donnelly fight, fights him, fights it out of his hand. Oh, they battle back and forth here. Oh, my God. Oh, Curtis. He was teasing on Lee there. He was framing and slamming onto that bat. That could have done some real harm to him. Oh, nice work there by Twister. Take him down. Chosen one. Oh, Don Lee with that vicious lead in the midsection. And now Don Lee, Kurt, looking at each other. Oh, you can see a young versus old. Oh, just like that. And the new wave. Oh, but Kurt ain't done. He's got that baseball bat. Come on, Kurt. Fucking, you missed him. Oh, I think he hit him in the cock. Oh, the game. He did it again. Oh, Don Lee, that old cock probably hasn't felt anything in years. <laughs> and now finally feels something but not what he would have wanted meanwhile oh my god deadlift Yokosuka cutter onto the concrete floor from chosen one two the two twister and twister managing that fight through the pain gets him in a dragon sleeper right there but quick escape there by chosen one I believe that was a Yokosuka cut. Apologies if I got that wrong, but I'm trying my best to be more with fit with wrestling moves. Oh my word! Back of the head. Twisted out, absorbing this punishment really well. Good thing, really, given you know you're part of GHK. You know, it's kind of a prerequisite, but you know, given he's new, I didn't expect that much from him. Oh, and now you see Twister. Look at that. Nice work right there. Meanwhile, a beautiful power slam from, you know, Curtis Burton. Oh, Twister. He's got that baseball bat. Oh, he's rushing in. Oh, and he swung it at the back of Curtis. And Curtis had to get off. Oh, I imagine you can't keep a big main when You've had a bat smack into you. Oh, man. And now Twister. Oh, gets deflected. And Kurt Cassidy. Oh, he's got a beautiful DDT right there. And a rear super kick from the chosen one. Not his finisher anymore. Kurt's one! Kurt's one! Fuck me! I've got to be on the ball! I was about to say, you know, chosen one, he doesn't use that as his finisher anymore, but he's won championship with the rear super kick. Doesn't matter. Kurt has just won the championship. Not the championship. Won the match. Ugh. Again, it's late. Please give me a break. Oh my word, that was a wonderful match. Honestly, you know, Twister, you know, he was okay. He was pretty good given that was his debut match and whatnot. I wouldn't, you know, not bad. Chosen one, you know, good as always. Don Lee, good as always. You know, those two doing exactly what I wanted from them. Curtis, pretty bloody good as well. But Kurt, showing why I think he has the ability to become one of GHK's hottest talents in that ring. Mwah! Now we move on to the main event of the evening. It's time for Hubert Constantine to take on Leo. Now I wonder if Hubert and Mark, what they must be thinking after hearing the words of exciting in Kevin Constantine. Honestly, Hubert doesn't look that bothered. Whew. Actually, there does seem to be a bit in his mind. He's pausing there for thought, I imagine. I gotta wonder what is going through his mind. But Hubert Constantine, you know, one of the great wrestlers of GHK, you know, a former world champion, he is pretty bloody tough. Honestly, he is a not, you know, he is a nightmare to face. He is one of the most powerful powerhouses you will ever see. I have every reason to believe that he is going to give Leo hell. Now Leo, all due credit, one of the most, you know, one of the strongest power, you know, cruiserweights I've ever seen. 
you know, pound for pound, it has to be up there with old milk carton, you know, Xander Horus. But like, oh, it's just like, you know, it's all well and good being one of the strongest cruiserweights, but then when you get to be one of the strongest strong wrestlers, that's going to be difficult. Leo's going to have to really rely on that speed of his if he wants to have a chance against Xander Horus here. I'm against you, but what is wrong with me? <laughs> Fucking hell. I am not with it today. My head is throbbing, so I apologise if my commentary has been completely skewed with at points. Anyway, Hubert though is going to be a tough opponent for Leo by point. And, but I've got every right, to, you know, I've got every reason to believe that Leo is going to make this a hard match for Hubert to win. Leo, you know, he's won titles himself before. He's been a former tag team champion with Golden Phoenix. And Leo believes that if anything, Golden Phoenix was holding him back. He thinks that, he, you know, now that he's on his own, you know, success is only going to be more plentiful for him. Now, it's a big ask for him to go between becoming, you know, it's a big difference between becoming more successful and being a former world champion. But, you know, at the same time, if he can do that, you better believe he's going to be more successful. There's no better way of proving that than by beating a former world champion. Anyway, the match begins and they start off here. Oh, look at this. Hubert now gonna go bring Leo to the ground here and it looks like he's just wanting to bully Leo again that size difference the fact that Hubert is so powerful and just looking to bully and bulldoze but Leo with the speed like I was hoping he would he's using that speed to stay one step ahead and right now he is doing a bloody good job of it oh but that big kick to the midsection there and a close like oh sends him tumbling to the outside and that ain't gonna be good for him you can see Leo trying to recover, but Hubert is hot on his trail here. And I do not like the way this is going right now. Taking him over the side of the ring. Oh, fucking hell. And now going for the leg. And this ain't looking good for Leo at all right now. He is getting absolutely mugged. Oh, goes for that drop kick. Brings him only down to a knee, though. That's kind of concerning. A soul butt of Leo's own now. But still, it just seems to be getting shrugged off. Oh, fuck. Bugger me. Right into our announce desk. But Leo continuing to try and fight everything. He's got lovely Hurricane Rana. And now... Oh, go with those strikes. Leo has definitely been doing his bit. But... Every time he does, Hubert seems to come back undeterred. Oh! Meanwhile, I feel like Leo definitely takes longer to recover from this. It shows the difference in the power. Oh, fuck me! I was just going into the power of your moves, Hubert. You didn't need to decapitate him. Oh, my word. And now... Look at this, lovely takedown there by Leo. And now Hubert Constantine fighting back here. Oh no. Hubert Constantine with that big chest chop. And Leo still fighting back, good on him, good on him. He needs to hit some big moves though if he wants to take out Hubert. And I think that's what he's planning here. Oh, nice drop kick right there. He is building that momentum up. But, oh, again, kick to the midsection. And a right by Mark Vincent. Now, Mark Vincent backing up. Now, I mean, no disqualification. But I think Mark Vincent probably going off the orders of Hubert. So let Hubert do it unless he... Oh, my God! Hubert! He just did an elbow drop to the outside. Bloody hell, macho man Randy Savage would have been proud of the form of that. Oh, and there we go, busted open. I imagine Mark Vincent only backing away because Hubert wants to prove you know, that he doesn't need that help. And Mark only comes in if it gets really hairy. Oh, God, right at that barricade. But Leo continuing to try and fight back, so he's going to have to get that blood out of his eyes. Nice takedown right there. Mark Vincent is watching on. That is a scary thought. That man has bullied and bulldozed wrestlers much bigger than Leo. 
Now we see, oh, Hubert's getting back on that top rope. What is he doing? Go for another elbow drop. And as he brings Leo to his feet, what is he going to do? Oh, God, here we go. That full Nelson slam. Lockie's being slammed off the awful towel with like that. Oh, two. Good Lord almighty. And now, oh, it's over. Oh, it is over. Oh, Leo, you tried your best, but that is, is it. That is it. That's all she wrote. Three. And there you have it. Why he is a former world champion, Hubert Constantine, fully in control, absolutely dominating by the end. Amazing, scary work there, and one of the strongest, most powerful individuals ever. I do worry for Excited and Kevin. I wish them the best, but what are you gonna do against a duo like that? Mark Vincent, Hubert Constantine, without a doubt, two of the scariest wrestlers we have in GHK. Now we hope you all enjoyed this, if you did please remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to be notified of more videos, be it GHK or VDRW. Uh, comment, let me know what you think, what you thought, um, and share the video with your friends so it will get more eyes on the channel. Um, until next time, well we'll see you all next time!